had six people, including myself, build a castle in a 15 by 15 area on block three. We ended up using 80% of plot data size and the overall plot build costing 1.7 million. There are six different castles with six different styles, each built by a different participant. Three. Panda. Athena. Honey. Mim. Summer. Eleven hours of speed building footage later, this build battle took us over four days to complete. The end question now is, who do you think should win this castle build off? Make sure to hit the subscribe button because this did take me a while to record and edit and I would really appreciate it. Also make sure to stay by till the end to see all the tours. Here we have a few of the people who will be building. The other remaining people will join later on. To start off, we shall take a look at the rules. For the rules, you have to build on your own plot. The time limit is four days. Do not delete anyone else's build. Do not copy anyone else's build. And there is a 15 by 15 area you have to build in. It's now time to give everyone a co-owner. We are ready to go. Are you guys ready? Let's go into build mode and color a square to claim it. The color that I'm choosing is a light green color for my square. As you can see, here are seven different squares, but we ended up only using six of them. Are you guys ready to build? On your mark, get set. Build, build, build. Okay, well, to start this off, I had no idea how to build a castle. Let me just put that down. This is the very first time I'm ever building a castle on Bloxburg. So I was a little bit behind, as you could tell around my area. Lots of people already started building their exteriors. I went ahead and looked for some inspiration online and on Pinterest, and I ended up liking a few castles. Still with some reference images, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> so I kind of just like put these walls in as like a barricade for like fences, but I should have just used fences. I don't know why I'm so extra with this. And I do change my mind a lot, but this is my first time building a castle on Bloxburg, so give me a break, okay. <laughs> There are going to be some parts of the recording where I do skip ahead because I was a tiny bit confused on what idea I wanted, but I did know that I wanted a fountain in the middle near the entrance and have like this lily pad looking carpet. I did my best to replicate what I was going for. I ended up really liking it and I thought it was a cute design, but it did take me a while and it was a hassle. And yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. <laughs> So here is me struggling to be extra. I wanted something to be coming out from the top of the waterfall. I didn't know what, but I did end up concluding with putting a plant in the middle and just having it come out of the waterfall from the top to make it look like plants were coming out from the waterfall from the top. I literally just said that twice. Anyways, let's keep building. <laughs> I 
finally was able to finish the waterfall and I was happy how it turned out. So now here I am going to attempt building an exterior outline of the castle. And I also wanted this open area in order for the people to go across a bridge for some reason because I wanted the outside also to be really pretty. So I wasn't sure how I was going to do this exactly. I'll delete some walls a bit and rebuild them and go from there. But I'm really just like building the shape as I go and hoping for the best. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically what I'm doing now. Building the exterior outline of the castle. I also wanted to have a different type of roof pattern, so I combined these roofs together and made it look like bumps or triangles, whatever you want to call it. And I did end up liking it. It gave some shape to the build. I don't know what other type of roof I would have done there. So I kind of just kept that. And this is the first time I'm using this rounded roof. It was kind of difficult to understand how to use it. So I do play around with like the roofs a lot and just see what I think looks best at the end. to be adding in these windows i did want to give a little bit of royalty type of look and like a rich type of look so i was like okay i'll just add in like flower pots over here i didn't know what i was doing at this point i would <laughs> i was literally just building what i thought about at the moment and i kind of just like filled the windows with flowers and then if we skip ahead i'm going to be building the second floor i wanted a patio looking area over here and then a circular area also uh fitting the shape of the front but i wasn't sure how exactly this shape was going to turn out so i kind of just like gave up and decided to put in windows <laughs> I'm not sure what they're called, but you see them at the edge of the castles. They kind of look like little box spikes coming out from the sides of the castle. I don't know what they're called, but I tried replicating that with these boxes. I ended up hugely disliking how it looked. So I did end up changing it and replace it with like fencing, but I'm going to skip ahead so you don't have to watch me struggle placing these because I did not like how they turned out. Okay, to be fair, looking at it now, it didn't look that bad, but I still didn't like it. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the roof. I did want like a bell tower type of thing. I wasn't sure how I was going to do that, but I basically just built an outline or like a room for it in case. And I added in tons of pillars trying to see how exactly I could do this because it was like a two by two area that I would be able to build it in. Not enough space. But if you are wondering, that's currently what I'm attempting to do. And over here, I am doing the basic planning out of the floor plan because I had no idea what or how I wanted it to look. So this is going to be the second floor.
am just building the rest of the columns, trying to finish up the exterior part of the build so I'm able to go into decorating as I just wanted to have a base and know my limit of rooms and sizes because since I never built a castle before, I know there is lots of cylinder shapes and circular shapes or whatnot. And I wanted to stick to that shape instead of just like a plain square. So I did my best and this is how it turned out. I'm basically just working on the exterior. Just for us not to be here all day, I basically just sped up the video. I added in the roofing and over here, I'm just working on like this bell tower type of thing. I got this idea. I know during this update, we had uh, the Christmas update, which was a while ago. And this is when we started building it. It took a while, but I added in some garlands to make it look like it was like old fashioned. I kind of just stuck with it. I don't know how good it looked, but I kind of just kept it. And I also added some flowers on the side of the windows to the castle. Okay, so I imagine you don't want to fall off of the edge. So I added in some railing. <laughs> um, I also did replace this boxed shape area that I tried doing this like railing type of look because I ended up not liking it, like I said before, but I'm just playing around with the fencing and trying to combine it so it looks royal and it looks good. Pretty much just rich because this is a castle, so I'm guessing it's rich. Yes, okay, let's continue. <laughs> is where I started to play around with the colorings of the castle and also the textures. In the end, I felt like there was a lot of stone, so I did change up the textures a tiny bit, but it's basically just trial and error and seeing how I like it because once again, I haven't never built a castle on Bloxburg and no idea how other people have built it because I did go off some real life images, but of course in real life, everything in stone looks 10 times better. But on Bloxbury, it looks like an overuse of stone texture. I don't know, it's confusing, but that is what I'm doing. Just coloring the walls and seeing what textures and what colors would fit best for my castle. I begin fixing up the entrance of the castle this would probably be like the main entrance to the living room place and I wanted to have like a gate type of look to it I did my best I ended up thinking it was pretty cute and I left it it's not like a typical Dora I'd say because you could see through it but I liked it and I kept it like that I don't know if it's just me, but this blue color with that texture reminds me so much of the Disney castle. Oh my God, and I really love the color of it. Okay, I feel like it fits perfectly for a castle. And speaking of the Disney castle, I was kind of like debating if I should like restart my build, but we were already like seven hours into building and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do this. I don't feel like redoing my whole castle. So I basically just added in the flooring. 
uh, I do change it up, I believe, a bit. And now I'm just fixing in the doorways and pretty much just some exterior things because I wanted to have most of the exterior done before I went on to do the interior because I did know that would take a lot longer to work on. <laughs> mentioned this but this area I wanted to be like a throne room or like above it is like a bell tower type of look and I added in like a gumdrop for like the bell looking type of thing I don't know I wasn't that creative with it but I needed the area to have something so that's what I did and now I'm adding in some plants of course to make it look like this castle is full of nature basically just like two places of plants but uh we're adding in some flowers and some uh, greenery to make it look more natural I guess if that's the word for it <laughs> I did end up wanting to change the texture of the roofing because I felt like there was a lot of brick and uh, someone suggested for me to do like this wood pattern. Now textures are like a very difficult thing for me to do because I'm not really used to using lots of different textures. I usually just use the plastic because that's kind of easy and it looks really nice but this was like totally different for me and out of my comfort zone. So I was kind of asking some people for their opinion seeing what I liked if I like the concrete or the wood and then I think I did like a mixture of both because it ended up looking nice and yeah that's what I kept. not liking how the wall looked i felt like it looked too tall and made everything kind of look really weird i don't know i kind of just kept this fountain because i did work a bit on it in the beginning and um what's it called i added in fencing oh my goodness panda you're such a genius fencing and i colored it with wood i mean bricks oh my goodness i cannot think and I felt like that looked 10 times better and gave it a little bit more shape and contrast compared to the castle. And then I did add some stepping stones leading up to like the fountain area and also to the front. now i am starting to work on the inside now let me just tell you this i have to admit the way i did the walls was really weird i don't know like the angles and everything i felt like it made everything 10 times more difficult to decorate and put in flooring this top flooring took me a while to figure out how exactly i was going to do it because i wanted as much space possible that i could have along with also like making it look nice so you could actually go up the stairs so it did take me a while to understand what i was going for for the inside and for the decor but i ended up liking it a lot as you could have seen from the tours that are coming up later on but basically what we're doing is now we're doing the interior uh designing and trying to like pre-plan everything out before i start decorating such as the stairs and where the flooring and everything like that is going to go and yeah, let's keep building. <laughs> I 
was trying to have the stairs to be as identical as possible but it ended up like kind of getting in the way so it was maybe like a block off from each other so on this side there will be like a living room dining room area kitchen also a bedroom up on top and on the other side it will be a living room and i believe it's like pretty much a hangout area and stuff like that with like a piano and stuff you'll see what i'm talking about but i'm just adding in some flooring as i said before and i'm figuring out the walls and how i want to plan everything accordingly so i don't come up with any surprises of having to delete a whole floor level because something doesn't fit right or something like that yes okay <laughs> let's keep building so i also wanted to add a second like passageway from uh each side so i decided to like mimic the very first entrance that i did with these garlands and uh hedges and stuff like that so i did my best to replicate it it did take me a while to try and get it totally exact and lined up but it did end up looking good at the end so i kept going with it and we just kept building here i'm just adding in some minor details including some uh doorways over here so it would open up underneath the bell tower and then i'm adding in some shelves to decorate the flower uh outlines of the windows and then i'm just coloring floorings adding stairs and putting in flooring just to get ready to decorate the inside also end up changing some colors and textures such as the flooring and also some windows because I felt like it blent in with the castle better and went better and yeah <laughs>
and here we go to the inside basically i'm just coloring in the stairs different colors and patterns i end up changing it in the end because i didn't have like a set out idea i went for like an old-fashioned type of themed castle um it was a little bit out of my comfort zone i'm not used to it but i did decorate and yeah <laughs> So basically what I'm going to be doing with this room is that I broke it up into like that oval shape is going to be a bathroom. This room is going to be a bedroom that I'm going to decorate. And then the larger room is going to be a living room. Since I don't want the video to be super long, I'm just going to skip ahead to when I'm semi done like decorating it. So you guys could see the results of the room and then go from there. So basically, I just finished up with the bathroom and also the single bedroom, bed, room, bedroom, single bed. Okay, yeah, <laughs> the bedroom. And I also pretty much finished up with the bathroom. I'm adding some last minute details and then I will go on to decorating the living room pretty soon. here for the living room as you probably guessed it i also had no idea what i was doing but i just played around with the pattern i just placed things down and later on i come back to get everything to match everything in the end but i'm basically just like trying out these frames because it made it look like more old i don't know medieval is that the word for it and i loved the, the trims and i decided okay what's a castle without a fireplace because like didn't they like all have fireplace okay i actually don't know so i added in a fireplace some vases and try to make it look fancy and cozy and this is basically the living room and i'm going to be doing the same thing with skipping ahead to when i'm pretty much done with decorating it so we save some time So now I'm just adding up some finishing touches to the living room. Of course, I'm going to come back later on, add some things, remove some things. But now we are going to be moving on to the famous dining room. I don't know why I said famous. I meant like fancy. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I really liked this green color theme, but I decided to change it later on, I believe. But I also did want a very big dining room table because that's what castles are known for. They're huge dining room tables. Unfortunately, I did not have as much space as I wanted to and the walls were a little wonky, but I did manage to fit a semi long table, I guess. And I did try out a few designs with chairs because I didn't want the plain old boring chair without any fancy design. So I decided to combine two of them together, see how uh, a few of them look. And then I finished up with deciding on one of those designs and went from there and decorated from there. some of the room in the dining room area was a little bit plain so i decided to add in this plate closet and decorate it with some old-fashioned things such as like a cornucopia some um vases and coloring it with a wood theme and going from there and then after that behind those doors will be the kitchen and we're going there very soon I am back in the living room area because I decided to take a break from the dining room area and I wanted to add in a double fireplace. Of course, there will be needing uh, advanced placement game pass over here. 
and I also wanted to change the coloring of everything a tiny bit to fit like a more old-fashioned theme or rather than like a modern white theme if that makes any sense. And over here, I am moving on to the kitchen and I'm basically just decorating it with also having a wooden texture, mostly around it and also a stone texture because I felt like wood and stone together would make a perfect castle looking kitchen. It wasn't actually that big of a kitchen and because of the shaping of the kitchen and the walls, it was extremely difficult to find space and where to put everything. But thankfully I managed and I really, this was probably my favorite room in the entire build of the kitchen. I really enjoyed making it and it was really cute in the end. I've never used one of these stone furnaces and I thought it was adorable to add on to this build. the kitchen is pretty much done now I'm going to go up to the second floor and I'm going to be fixing up this second bedroom I believe in this class so we only have like two bedrooms and both of them are like single bed because of the different weird shapes in the walls I had to maximize the amount of rooms that I could use and make the best of it and none of them had enough space for a double bed so I had to make the best of it okay let's speed forward and let's take a look at to see how the bedroom looks so here it is I'm basically almost done decorating and I sped it up to save some time and now we are going to be coloring in the house inside and I'm going to be testing out the colors and the different textures to see which type of look I like the best Where, but I saw this carpet design with the flat carpet and then the circular ones at the end and it looked really good and oh my god I fell in love with it when I was decorating the dining room and for the stairs I wanted to have a little bit of texture so I decided to add in some pillars and for the second floor I wasn't really sure how to decorate the hallways because they were kind of narrow so I decided to put in the simple little like desk area table whatever you want to call it and then put in like a rose flower pot and such and then I just kept decorating from there saying I have no idea how to decorate the hallways so I kind of just like played around with like picture frames and added in like shelves and stuff and the new ropes had just came out at the time so I was also trying those out and I guess I kind of just went with a design that I thought looked good or went with the theme or whatever it's called and yeah that's what I'm pretty much doing now <laughs>
And now I'm going on to decorating the second side of the hallway or like the opposite side. And over here, I saw this other YouTuber. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Sevenios, or I'll just put the channel up here. I checked out one of their videos to create like different styled, like old fashioned things because I've seen their posts on Twitter and it's absolutely amazing. So I decided to add in one of their dressers and watch their tutorial. I'm going to skip, but if you want to go watch it, go check out their channel on how to build this. going outside to the outside area is that what it's called the patio the back area i don't know i really wanted this fountain but i did not have enough space so this was a huge struggle that i had to like go upon and figure out on myself but i was able to do it and it did take me a while i did end up liking the finished results but i was a little iffy at the beginning when i was building it but this is going to be a fountain and yeah let's build a fountain <laughs> the fountain was a bit short for my liking but i rose it up with a roof at the end or not at the end but in a few seconds and these little pads or placemats i was trying to make like lily pads with the green and i also didn't want the edging to be super like edged out a point so i did my best to use like flower pots and tables in order to fix this problem So here I am trying to figure out how to like create a rock like type of look and also fit the area of the fountain because this was a two by two area. Um, a normal roof would look really weird. So I had to like play with the shape of it. I don't know how else to explain it, but it ended up looking pretty good and I really liked how the fountain turned out. I felt that this area was a little bit plain, so I decided to add in some stepping stones all the way up till the front, and I really liked the idea, so I decided to color them three different colors. And then right after this, we are going to go back to the upstairs and I'm going to finish in some last finishing touches, and yeah. I'll be honest i didn't know what i was going to do for each room and i keep saying i didn't know what i was going to do so i'm going to say it again i didn't know what i was going to do for the third floor because there was such minimal space so many windows like what could you possibly put in it so i believe i did put in a few decorations did my best to make it look semi good i added in like a telescope is that what it's called and i also added in like a little seating area a few decorations here and there such as plants because you can never have enough plants and yeah i did my best to decorate it as much as i could I then went on to decorating the second floor. I did feel like I didn't finish up here. So I decided to add in some bookshelves and I tried filling up this little corner. So I then added in like a table, a few decorations, a painting and went from there.
then added in some wall frames because I I've never used the wall frames, let me be honest, but they make this castle look exceptional. It's my favorite, probably one of my favorite parts of the build are the wall frames because it does bring so much design and I believe that I'll use them in future builds because it just amplifies it and makes it look 10 times more realistic and so much better. And now I'm adding in some plants to give it more of a nature type of vibe and not a completely dead castle. <laughs> For the walls i'm adding in these like old traditional plates because i feel like a lot of old type of houses have those plates i don't know if it's just me and then i'm moving up again to the third floor and in the third floor i'm going to be finishing the towers and this bridge which leads to the second tower and just decorating it adding in some textures finishing it up so what i decided to do now is i wanted to attempt making another type of chandelier hanging from the ceiling since the tower ceiling was like two stories high i decided to do my best to see and attempt if i was able to do this it did end up working pretty good but it did take me a while of trial and error to figure it out and yeah to make use of these like new chains and try it out they look really amazing and three-dimensional and over here is basically like a bridge where you can walk to the other tower or other side of the castle so i decided to add in chains in order to make it look like the bridge is being held up by them or something like that i honestly don't know i i was just trying it out all over the place because they looked so cool <laughs> finish up the build i wanted to add some last finishing touches and then we were pretty much done you know what time it is now it's your favorite time and mine it's tour time
I'm a statue. You don't see me.
11 hours later, we are finally finished. A huge thank you to the people who participated because they also took a very long time to build. So they put in their own time to do this. And thank you guys so much for staying by till the end. Make sure to join my Discord if you would like to join in the possible next mega build battle. The link is down below in the description. Bye! If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be a part of the Pandoana Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girls out! Bye!